yeah, you, definitely. You mentioned Clinton, and there's a story in here about my I played golf with Bill Clinton when he was president, and people said, "Did he cheat?" I'm like, well, kind of, yes. He had 24 clubs in his bag, <laughs> which is 10 over the limit. And he would play his first ball. He'd hit his first ball, but then he would hit what we call billigans, which is pra- we started calling them billigans because they're practice shots. And he would hit five or six more of those. The day took like six hours, as opposed to when I played with Trump, it's over in like 315. But anyway, he hit a lot of extra shots, but then he would play his first ball. But... Since every, you know, Secret Service guy and staff guy wants to end up, you know, the ambassador to Switzerland, he's like, which ball is the first one? Like, oh, I'm sure it's on the green. I think it's this one near the pin. And <laughs> in that way, he shot 82, which I don't think he really did. But uh, but he was a lot of fun. And, and uh, you know, he would give you the elbow when a hot girl walked by. And it was just, it was a lot of fun. Well, Trump. President, like. Did they tell you I'm a reporter here at all? (laughs) (laughs) Some people don't care, I guess. Uh, But Trump, my buddy, was on his security detail for a long time, and he said, maybe you can confirm this since you play with him. His habit is to, if he's anywhere near the pen, he's picking it up and that, like, I would have made that, picks it up and walks away. Is that that how that goes? Well, dude, I wrote an entire book about Trump cheating at golf. It's called... (laughs) (laughs) It was four weeks on the New York Times bestseller list, or as Trump would say, four years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he took that day seven mulligans. His, his circle of love around the green was the size of a Winnebago. Everything was good. But for me, do I got to hip putt this? Yeah, you better brush that in. I'm like, it's three feet. You just took a seven-footer. <laughs> Give me chip in. I've never seen this. He's off the green, picks it up. I'm like, what the hell just happened, Don- Donald? He's like, oh, I wouldn't have missed that. Are you kidding? <laughs> you tipped like Edward Scissorhands. You're terrible. He's like, no, I would have made that. And then, so, he, so that day, I think he shot 78, and I shot 81 or something. He starts introducing me as Rick Riley, owner of Sports Illustrated. I'm like, no, I'm just a writer. Oh, here's Rick Riley, shot a 73 today. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> so everything goes through that trump meter and that's how come he gets to tell people he's a 2.8 when he's actually a 10. I mean, you would bet him for your children's lives at 2.8. <laughs> but he's telling a better story about your life, so you should feel honored. Like, I wish, is, yeah. I wish somebody would walk around with me and just kind of beef me up all day. That's Ross. Yeah, five-time New York Times bestselling author, Ross Patterson. But, you know? but the problem is he tells lies that everybody can check. Like, he, <laughs> like I'm, I've been with him a lot, and he'll like, oh, Trump Los Angeles is better than Pebble Beach. What? No, no, it's not, Donald. Shut up. No, it is. You can ask anybody. Okay, I'll ask anybody. (laughs) He has a course near Pine Valley. He says, actually, most people will tell you uh, my course is better than Pine Valley. I'm like, Donald, Pine Valley's number one in the world. Who told you this? And it turns out it was his caddy. Well, Pebble Beach, you got to pay just to drive through the fucking place. So yeah. I'm pretty sure they're not doing that at Trump's course. No, not at all. Not at yeah, all. Three hundred. Oh, and if you wear a Pebble Beach shirt to his course down here in Trump, L.A., mm. he makes you, the pro makes you take it off and buy a Trump shirt. Yes. That's how serious he is about this lie. Yes. <laughs> That's a, awesome. Really cool. That's really funny. You know, his caddies carry four-inch green tees. He makes them carry them everywhere. Because when he hits it in the rough and there's nobody near, they tee it up for him in the rough. Really? 